We all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise that something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. Kylina! No! No. Plissly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! Vizier! Ah, you must be the Prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. 
I believe I have something of yours. Oh, no! Kailena! Everything had come full circle. The prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands, unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the prince had nearly been transformed by the sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, prince. Wake up. Wake up! Father would tell me stories. Pay attention. Something's happening down there. Is that? It's the vizier. He has been completely transformed. Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army, and these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. Things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon. My city. My throne. Are you sure you can control this thing? Let us hope. If I crash, it is the end for both of us. The Prince! And so once more the prince began the journey home, his mind of fire. We made it! Hold your horses! Come on! The once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted, its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly, captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier.
What is this? Someone helping us? Who is there? You have done me a great service. Show yourself that I might thank you. So very strange. I wonder... No. It is silly to think such things. This thing was once a man. He was there when Kylina died. Await your response. I have heard tales, wondrous tales of a beautiful and brave princess of India, one who has traveled to Babylon seeking to punish an evil vizier who has caused her great distress. See? Now she's going to kill us. How in the world have you managed to survive this long? Good luck, stranger. Dagger of Time. How did you come to possess that? Here we go again. I took it. From the Vizier. That traitor. He murdered my father, enslaved my people, imprisoned me. And all in the name of becoming some kind of god. I know too well what he is capable of. But I intend to find him. And punish him for what he has done to my kingdom. You are the son of Sharaman? The Prince of Persia? And you are the daughter of the Maharaja. We both seek the same thing. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. Provided you can keep up. I grow tired of her little tests. It is simply her way. I assure you, she will prove a valuable ally. Time. What? What is that thing? It's the Vizier. What's happened to him? Something terrible. Something wonderful. Wait! No! Be happy that he is gone. You never would have stood a chance. Oh, how silly of me. You're right. Perhaps we should surrender. Or turn away and leave the city. I know a lovely little island just a few weeks' journey from here. I'm sure by the time we return, this will all be sorted out. If it comforts you to mock me, then by all means continue. But you are so focused on killing him, you've thrown strategy completely out the window. You could have died. I suppose. But now we need to find a way to enter the temple. We're wasting time here. That seems to be our best bet. Such a beautiful building. Father built these gardens as a symbol of his love for our people. Once, all the kingdom was like this. Try using these levers. If I can reach the other side, I might be able to find a way to open that door. Do you think you could move a little faster? You're more than welcome to come down here and try it yourself. Seven years and still nothing's changed. Seven years? What are you talking about? It's... a figure of speech. 
There is something very odd about you. She has no idea. Ah, we are making progress. I think I see a bell in that tower. Perhaps if you can get me to the next balcony, I can sever its rope. You can use it to access the door switch. With my luck, it will probably trigger some terrible trap. Or summon sand monsters. Or bring about the end of the world. Would it kill you to show a little optimism? Experience has taught me wishful thinking only leads to disappointment. See? You did it! We did it. Wait! There are people hurt inside. We should help them. Now is not the time, Prince. You can help all you want later. Go, Farah. Tend to the wounded. I will catch up with you once I've dealt with the Vizier. To conquer a city is one thing, but to do so with such violence and cruelty is something else entirely. I will return every blow he has landed against my kingdom. We are close, Prince. So close. Let us make him suffer. Are you alright? He has escaped. And you? What of the troops? Dead. All dead. But I saw the Vizier. Or whatever it is he's become. He flew towards the palace. Then we know where to go. Thank you, Prince. Of course. The problem is, now I am trapped. Just like a woman. Solving her problem creates a new one for you. Allow me to return the favor, then. your voice down. There are enemies below. Okay. I can see the palace from here. Make your way to me. At last we have returned. Did you hear that? If you know what is good for you, say no. Farah, we must press on. I am sure she will be all right. Are you mad? She was begging for her life. She said there were others. No, we can afford no more delays. Good. Put her in her place. These are your people. You are their prince. And yet you would leave them to suffer? That man has taken everything from me. And now that I have the opportunity to punish him, you want to delay me? Have you forgotten what he did to you? But I... You are burdened by a guilty conscience, Farah. He made you watch as your people suffered, unable to aid them. You are not to blame. Do not let it cloud your judgment. It is not I who suffers from clouded judgment. You may choose not to help them, but you cannot stop me. I go to kill the Vizier, to end this! while you run about applying bandages to axe wounds. Good riddance. She has been nothing but a distraction, always getting into trouble and slowing us down. Finally, we can... What? Something could happen to her. I cannot lose her again. No, no, no! We are so close. I have thought about what you said, and you are right. I... Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation? If you really do desire death, kindly wait your turn. 
have killed most of the guards. It should be safe. Go and find the women. Free them. I will deal with her. If I had some sands for every time someone said that to me. Oh, I do. The women are free and headed to safety. It was right of you to return. Prince? You. You're one of them? No, Farah! This is not how it appears! You're a sand monster! You lied to me all this time! No! I have been tainted by the sands, this is true, but my mind and my heart are my own. Please believe me. You stay away from me! Do you see now? The change was physical, nothing more! Why should I believe you? Everything you have done contradicts this. I have seen the way you hunger for combat. You take pleasure in creating death. Your constant talk of bloody vengeance. Your cold disregard for your own people. You heard the women in the brothel as clearly as I did, yet you turned away. But I came back. I came back. For you. You are a prince in title only. Go and reclaim your throne. But know this. You do so alone. You certainly have a way with women. Those you don't get killed can't get far enough away from you. People are clearly in danger. Now what happens when you try to help other people? You die. Hey, look, it's in here. It's going to burn. Help us. Please help us. Ah, ah, over here. Over here. Please. Why are you going to help? Oh, Father, give me guidance. Lend me strength. Where have you gone? Father, gone. Wait, that's it. Where is the machinery that controls these conveyors? Quickly, please, there is not much time! Above us. Savior, friends, I tell you now and true, it is the Prince of Persia! That can't be. Prince, he's coming back to us. It is good to see you safe. Admit, I was not expecting that. I chose the right moment to return. Thank you. 
Lucky shot. We should move. I'm sure more are on the way. Be on your guard. I always am. Find a way to open this door. Incredible. I have only heard stories of such marvels. But to see one up close. Is there not a similar device in Azad? This lift will bring us to the throne room. But wonder of wonders, it seems to have stopped working. I will try and return it to life. I do hope to visit Azad someday. What is your favorite color? Color? Shall I repeat the question? Blue. Blue? That's not my favorite color. What is the point of this? Must every conversation we have be so serious? I know so little about you. Very well. Then, what is your favorite food? The pomegranate, of course. I do not like pomegranates. What is wrong with you? They are messy, impossible to eat with dignity. So much work for a few seeds. <laughs> but is it not the effort that makes them that much sweeter? I think I'm going to be sick. What is this place? It is the heart of the Hanging Gardens. These are the instruments of life, regulating and running everything. Prince! Watch out! Like your father. He is a good man. No, a great man. Strong, loyal, kind, forgiving. What is it? I. That is to say, we did not part on the best of terms. It was many years ago. I was young and full of pride of fear as well. He offered to listen, but I could not find the words. 
would not find them. And I only hope that I may see him once more, to say that I am sorry. But this is a story for another time. Let us speak of other things. Surrounded by so much sadness, we should not succumb ourselves. Returning to the matter at hand, I cannot get to you from where I am. I can close another shutter then. Let us regroup ahead. <laughs> There is still no way for me to get to you. However, you can reach the throne room from where you stand. And I can pass through the greenhouse. This will certainly bring us to the same location. Be careful, Prince. Ah! Do not take another step! I am impressed you made it past my little welcoming party. Impressed, but also quite annoyed. You have robbed me of my strongest ally. It would be unfair of me not to return the favor. Pharaoh will make an excellent queen, fit for a god. Although we will need to make some modifications. Let her go! <laughs> you act as though you have a say in the matter. Which you don't. <laughs> say hello to your- The prince was cast to his death into a pit of darkness, robbed of Pharaoh, distanced from the vizier. He had been warned that his journey would not end well. Ah, but do not be surprised. The prince's transformation saved him. Sometimes good can come of ill. Sometimes. Father's sword. What... what is it doing here? Oh, come on now. Did you really expect to find him alive? Even after everything you have experienced, still, you hold out hope. Oh, Father. What have I done? What now, then? Gather up enough sand? Perform another grand rewind? Or perhaps you can return to the island and travel back to a time when he might still be saved. Maybe rescue a damsel in distress along the way. No! You are right. I have been like a child. Naive and arrogant. Always rushing to undo my mistakes. Never facing the consequences of my actions. No more. I accept what I have done. And all that it implies. What is this? You have no water. How did you... You hold no power over me now. Be gone. Retreat to whatever dark hole spawned you, and do not trouble me again. Now, where did I put those... Zervan? What is it? In case I don't get the chance again... You impudent pig! I offer you life eternal, and this is how you respond? Oh, I shall enjoy changing you. Hello, Prince. Not quite the homecoming you expected. <laughs> <laughs> This world was not meant for me, but there are others, and I will find my place just as you have found yours.
Be free now, Prince. Your journey is at an end. What is it? All that is yours is rightfully mine. And mine it will be. Wake up. Wake up. Farah? Are you all right? I think... I think it's finally over. There's still something I don't understand. How did you really know my name? Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I really am and why I say this. Come, and I will tell you a tale like none you have ever heard.